Natumai hujambo popote yolipo shabiki wa michezo karibu kwenye jungu la manasporti yakiwa ni makala ya sita tangu tulipoanza. Jina langu ni Geoffrey Washira. Wanariadha wa Kenya ambao tayari wako mjini London Uingereza kwa michezo olimpiki wameelezea matumaini ya kutia fora wakati wa michezo hiyo ambayo itangwa nanga siku Ijumaa. Timu hiyo ambayo inawashirikisha wanariadha wa mbio fupi, waogeleaji na mabondia imekuwa jijini London kwa muda wa majuma matatu. Timu ya mbio za mita 400 kupokezana kijiti iliondoka nchini zaidi ya majuma matatu iliyopita huku wanariadha wa mbio za masafa marefu wakiamua kubaki hapa nchini na kufanyia mazoezi yao katika uwanja wa Kasarani, Milima ya Ngong na pia msitu wa Karura. Miongoni mwa wanariadha waliokuwa kwenye kundi la kwanza ni Mark Mutai, Vincent Kosgei, Bonfans Musheru, Morin Jelagat, Joy Zakari na Vincent Mumo. Wanariadha hawa tayari wamehamia katika vyumba vilivyotengewa na riadha mjini London lakini wamekuwa kifanyia mazoezi yao katika uwanja wa Bristol kujiandaa kwa mashindano hayo. Kulingana na meneja wa timu iliyoko Uingereza James Chacha, wanariadha wamenufaika vilivyo na vifaa vilivyoko katika uwanja huo. And I believe that uh, with the kind of training that uh, we've had, we should be able to improve on our performance in the previous uh, Olympic Games and hopefully even take uh, the gold medal in the 400 meters the 400 meter hurdles and as well as the 4x4 uh, uh, meters relay Matamshi hayo yaliungwa mkono na mkufunzi aliyepewa jukumu la kuiongoza timu iliyoko Bristol Bruce Latty We've been working hard despite uh, the weather uh, I would say and everything else the morale of the team is high and i'm also glad that as we get closer to the games the weather is also becoming better and i should say the team looks quite highly motivated and it's ready to go one of the other watatu zaidi walisafiri kuelekea london siku jumapili huku wengine 27 wakitarajiwa kuondoka tarehe 30 mwezi huu michezo hiyo inangwa nanga siku ya juma Tukirejea hapa nchini mashindano ya mwaka huu ya Masai Mara Marathon yamezinduliwa leo katika hoteli moja hapa Nairobi. Mashindano hayo ambayo yanaingia mwaka wa tatu yalipokea udhamini kutoka kwa shirika la ndege la Kenya Airways. Waandalizi wanasema kuwa idadi ya washiriki hasa kutoka mataifa ya kigeni wanatarajiwa kuongezeka kuliko ilivyokuwa miaka ya hapo awali. Mashindano hayo ya kila mwaka hufanyika katika mbuga ya wanyamapori ya Masai Mara. We have moved it away from the bush just by couple meters and the, the security we have replaced with a few more additional securities in that but the course will be just basically the same finally za mashindano ya copa coca cola kwa wachezaji wasiozidi umri wa miaka 17 zilingwanga leo katika chuo cha Kenya Polytechnic kilichoko mjini Mombasa timu tatu ambazo haziko zimefika Mombasa ziliwasili mjini humo jana usiku Waandalizi jana walikuwa kikagua stakabadhi za wachezaji hasa kuangalia umri wao kwa ni hapo awali wachezaji wamekuwa kidanganya kuhusu umri wao Wavulana na wasichana watashiriki mashindano hayo ambayo yatafanyika katika uwanja wa Mbaraki. Mkuu wa kamati ya kiufundi wa shirikisho la FKF Eli Mukolwe amewahakikishia wachezaji kuwa watachaguliwa kulingana na uwezo wao na wala sio kwa njia ya mapendeleo. Siku tatu tu kabla ya kuanza kwa michezo olimpiki mjini London Uingereza, bingwa mara tatu olimpiki Usain Bolt ameundua mchongo wake mjini humo. Mchongo huo ulizinduliwa rasmi siku ya Jumatatu mjini London. Kulingana na waliotengeneza, mchongo huo uligarimu dola 1233. Watu 12 walishiriki kuunda mchongo huo na walichukua muda wa miezi minne. Hata hivyo Bolt bado hajauona mchongo huo lakini waliouzindua wanasema ameuona kwenye picha na amerithika. Mashabiki wa Bolt walipata fursa ya kupigwa picha kando na mchongo huo. <tos> Rais wa kamati olimpiki duniani Jacques Roga alitembelea makazi ya wanariadha mjini London hapo jana na akaelezea kurithika kwake na jinsi yalivyotayarishwa. Roga alicheza mechi ya pool na mchezaji wa volleyball wa Uingereza na pia kapata chakula cha mchana katika chumba cha mankuli cha timu ya Brazil. Wanariadha walianza kuwasili mjini London Juma lilopita tayari kwa mashindano hayo yatakaoanza siku ya Ijumaa. Roga alikuwa ameandamana na meya wa London Boris Johnson na kamati ya analizi Sebastian Coe.
Na hatimaye meneja wa klabu ya Tottenham Hotspur Andre Villas Boas amelezea ghadhabu yake baada ya kiungo wa klabu hiyo Luka Modric kukataa kusafiri na klabu hiyo kwa ziara yao ya Marekani. Tottenham iko mjini Los Angeles kucheza mechi za grafiki na klabu ya Los Angeles Galaxy. Modric raia wa Croatia hakusafiri na timu hiyo na huenda akapigwa faini na klabu hiyo kwa kukosa kufanya hivyo. Vyash Boas amesema Modric amekosa nidhamu na anafaa kuadhibiwa vikali. Uh, at the moment uh, you know it's the f I think it's the first time unfortunately for Luka that he takes these actions uh, you know uh, I think um, the chairman and myself have been very very open with this situation by saying that you know we uh, we are willing to listen to offers for the players which is uh, uncommon I think and uh, and I think the first, the, the first is the first time that the player is taking this uh, behavior you know he has had uh, many interests from the past as you said like last year na kwa taarifa hiyo kutoka nchini Marekani sina la ziada kuna jungu la mwanasporti jina langu ni Geoffrey Washira kwaheri